So Fox News is at it again. Art Laffer, the world's dumbest and most wrong economist, uh, was on one of the midday shows, and he said something that went viral for all the wrong reasons. Okay, Austin wants to talk about the current McDonald's CEO, Kemzinski. He's noting that artificial intelligence technology has 85% accuracy with filling orders, with workers having to step in for approximately one in five orders. It's going to be a big leap, he says, to go from 10 restaurants to 14,000 restaurants. But there is no doubt they are working in that direction, Art. Yeah, for, for those people, Sandra, who are coming into the labor force brand fresh, uh, not old timers who've been around for a while, the poor, the minorities, the disenfranchised, uh, those with less education, young people who haven't had the job experience, these yeah. people aren't worth $15 an hour in most cases. Art Laffer wants you to know that, and I quote, the poor, minorities, the disenfranchised, the less educated, the young workers, they aren't worth $15 an hour in most cases. I love it when they just say it and wear it on their sleeve. Like, yeah, Art, maybe that's the problem with the system, is that we don't value human beings simply for being human beings. You have to find a way to fit yourself into this giant, corrupt, rotten, disgusting economy, and if you can't, fit into the system, well, then you're the problem, and then you're an outcast, and you're shoved to the corners of society and treated horrendously and left behind. See, when I hear that, I think, oh, what a phenomenal argument against the way the economy works. He hears that, and he thinks, well, you better just accept less money and live in poverty and continue to work full-time without making enough money to survive. What? He's making an argument against the $15 minimum wage. And the argument has to boil down to accept less, don't make enough money to survive, but keep showing up to work on a full-time schedule. That is, not only is that callous, it's also stupid to think that that's like sustainable in the long run. That system is not proving its worth. That system is useless. We shouldn't, again, the economy should work to serve the people, not the people need to fit into the economy. I mean, I consider that obvious. He doesn't. He views the economy as like the this flawless, godlike being that we always must, um, you know, genuflect to. And by the way, he says early on there, well, a AI is 85% accurate. That's fucking terrible. Imagine you go to McDonald's and you order and only 85% of the time they get it right. I don't know about you guys, 99% of the time they get it right for me. 85% of the time... And he's like, God, these robots are going to replace the people. They're 85% accurate. Then it's going to be a while until they replace the people because 85 sucks and it'll piss everybody off. Now, by the way, the other thing is, if you're going to talk about AI eventually taking everybody's job, and there's no doubt that AI has already come in and taken a lot of jobs, but the point that follows it should be, and that's why we need a universal basic income to make sure that the people are okay during this transitionary period in the economy. You know, Stephen Hawking said it, and he's a mega genius, way smarter than Art Laffer and way smarter than myself. He was like, listen, there is going to come a time where the robots could do all the work. And when we cross that bridge, what you have to do is have a fair distribution of the wealth in the system so that everything still functions and we have peace and security and order in society. If you don't take care of the people and you have the robots take over, and you have extreme wealth and income inequality, that's a recipe for a dystopian sci-fi futuristic apocalypse novel, and everybody knows it. But he doesn't use that argument to make that point. He's not like, damn, the robots are taking over, so we need a UBI, or we really need to reform the system, or we really need workers' rights and uh, you know labor unions to fight back against this and to make the machines take a back seat. He doesn't say any of that. His point is like, the machines are taking over, and poor minorities, disenfranchised, less educated, and young workers aren't worth $15 an hour in most cases, so they should just take less. How much you want to bet if Art Laffer was in that position, he would not be making that argument? If he was somebody who was making less than $15 an hour and wasn't able to live, he wouldn't be like, well, this is a fine system. This is a dandy system. By the way, he's been wrong on everything he's ever said economically, and he's still used as like a primary intellectual on the right which says a lot about the intellectuals on the right trickle-down economics is a fraud it's a scam 
They even pretend like, oh, it won't even increase the deficit. When they do it, it's always increased the deficit. Always. It leads to boom-bust cycles. They pretend like it doesn't do that. It's a joke that, oh, you deregulate, everything will go well. Really? We tried it under Reagan, and it was an abysmal disaster. When he left office, there was a downturn. We tried it under George W. Bush, it was an abysmal disaster. We fucking tried it in the lead-up to the Great Depression, and it was one of the things that led to the Great Depression. This time it'll work. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Really, it's a ruse to give all the money to the wealthy. That's it. His buddies. Hey, they want more money. I don't know, so let me come up with some intellectual veneer to say, hand them all the money and it'll be okay. Hand the oligarchs and the billionaires all the money and then everything will work out, we promise. Really? The last 47 times we tried it, that didn't happen. Art Laffer. What a joke. These people aren't worth $15 an hour. They're not worth a living wage. They're human beings. Not only are they human beings, but they're human beings and they work full time. And he still says, you're not worth a living wage. <laughs> Man. They don't get more loathsome than him. He's maxing out on the loathsome scale.